If you've had to buy bar and chain oil recently, you probably noticed the prices have gone up, way up. Today we're going to be testing the cheapest bar oil that I could find. I haven't had to buy bar oil in at least two, maybe three years because I bought a whole bunch of cases and I stocked up. I'm glad that I did. I knew the prices would be more than they were before, but I was shocked to see they've almost doubled in the last couple of years. One of our local hardware stores used to carry the Husky X Guard for about $11 a gallon. That's when I last bought it. They were the cheapest around. The owner told me they actually lose a little bit of money on this because it was a lost leader to get people to come into the store. When I say doubled, it's doubled for that price, which was a very low price. Now I'm seeing it at $22, $23 a gallon. Yesterday I was shopping around and I found this, Black Max. $13.95 a gallon. It was the cheapest I could find. The only place I've found it is Walmart. I don't know if that is a Walmart brand. If this is Walmart brand, I'm a little bit skeptical of it. Because I've used Walmart Super Tech bar oil before. And that stuff was so nasty. It smelled like gear oil. Or at least some of the gear oil I've smelled. When running the saw, it would throw that oil around. And those fumes were, they were making my sinuses burn. My clothes reeked. I reeked. After a tank or two, I just threw the whole jug away. I think I took it to the oil recycler. That stuff was nasty. Now, I don't know if all Super Tech is that way. Maybe I just got a bad batch. If you've used it and it's not that way, let us know in the comments because it's almost as cheap as this was. The first test is to open this up and make sure this isn't that nasty whatever that was. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. The sniff test. Smells like bar oil. For $13.95 a gallon, this might be my new bar oil. Let's pour a little bit of this out, check the viscosity and the tacky, see what it's like, see how it compares. We'll dribble a little bit out of here. The husky is not completely full, so this will be a little hard to get this done at the same time. That didn't work out. This is very non scientific. Let's try to do these at the same time. Let's do a little tacky test. I don't know if that's a fair comparison because this is a little deeper over here. Try that a little bit. I think the Black Max is actually more tacky. Both of these jugs have been stored at the same temperature. And every time I do this, I don't know if you can see those strings on camera. The Black Max is actually more tacky than the Husky. The strings always break on the Husky. Significantly sooner. Many years ago, we used to just use used motor oil for our bar oil. That was standard practice for loggers. When they had a fleet of trucks and equipment, they were always changing oil. Any of used oil to use, they would just run it through the chainsaws. I think it was my first chainsaw. It was a Husky 254. I eventually had to replace the oil pump in it. The dealer told me it was probably because of the used oil. You might actually come out ahead if you consider all the money that you save by not buying bar oil. With today's price, that would go a long way toward once in a while having to replace an oil pump. But I don't want to have to mess with that and I don't want to be slinging that dirty oil everywhere. I think it's better just to use the bar oil. And since I switched to bar oil years ago, I've never had to replace a pump or had any problems with the oilers on the saws. For now, the Black Max, it doesn't reek. It looks like regular bar oil. I'm going to use it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.